Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWind. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. Start your lab. Now move to the first task. First of all, we have to create a VM instance. So copy your username and log into the cloud console. In the console, open this compute engine and go to the VM instances. Now click on this create instance. For instance name, go back to the lab and copy this name. Then simply paste it. For the region, select the US central one. And for the zone, you have to select zone A. Now for the machine configuration, choose the series N1 and for the machine type, you have to select N1 standard 2. Now we will make some changes in the boot disk, click on change. For the version, you have to select this one, then click select. Allow HTTP traffic, then click on this create. Now this instance is going to take 2 to 3 minutes to be created so please wait for some time. Ok now you can go back to the lab and check the progress. Now copy this command and open the SSH for the instance we created. Then paste the command and hit enter. Go back to the lab and copy the next command then run it type y and hit enter now copy the next command and run it now go back to the cloud console and click on this external IP you will see an interface like this. Now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for both of these tasks. Now scroll down. We have to create an uptime check. Copy this title. Then go back to the console. And search for uptime. Now open this. Click on create uptime check. Then for the resource type you have to select the instance then applies to single and for the instance select this click on continue again click continue continue for the title simply paste the title we copied then click on test now create your uptime check now search for alerting and open this click on create policy then go back to the lab and copy this network traffic then select a matrix turn off this option then in the filters press ctrl plus v and you will see this vm instance click on it then open the interface now select this network traffic and click apply. Then click on next. For threshold value type 500. Open the advanced options. For reset window set it to 1 minute. Then click on next. For notification channels. Click on manage notification channel. Then click on the add button for this email. Go back to the lab and copy your username. Then simply paste it. Now add a display name. Click save. If you will go back and click on this refresh. You will see this notification channel. Select it. 
and click OK. Now type anything in the documentation for this alert policy name. Go back to the lab and copy this, then paste it and click on next then click on create policy go back to the lab and check the progress for this last task also congratulations you have successfully completed this lab now you can end it and if the video was helpful please consider subscribing for the next time stay safe stay healthy